External systems can invoke Blue Prism processes through a variety of means, including web services. In this case, we'll see what happens when an IVR system interacts with Blue Prism. Once the system has routed the customer's concern down the correct path, the IVR system can pass the inbound telephone number to Blue Prism so the customer's reservation details can be retrieved from a mainframe system. Here we see a Blue Prism digital worker launch the mainframe application log in and collect the needed information, and close the application. At this point, the data is sent to Salesforce Service Cloud so that the customer service agent will have access to the reservation data when speaking with the guest who has called in. Simultaneously, a Blue Prism worker can have created a case in Salesforce and put it into the proper work queue. As the customer service representative, is connected to the call, they will refresh their work queue in Salesforce and select the appropriate case. This takes the representative to the service console, where all the necessary information to resolve this specific case will be made available to them. Of particular note is the upper section of the right column, where a custom Salesforce object, in this case a reservation, is displayed. The CSR can select the reservation the customer has concerns about to investigate the missing loyalty points. The CSR can log a call and remedy the situation. Seeing that the points are missing, the CSR can edit the record, update the points, and save it. At the point at which the reservation record is saved, Salesforce is triggered to invoke a Blue Prism process that will record the changed reservation data into the legacy mainframe application. Now we see a Blue Prism digital worker log into the mainframe, update the reservation record to reflect the change made in Salesforce Service Cloud, and close the application. The Blue Prism process is complete and the digital worker can move on to its next assigned task.